I'm going to call the meeting to order. Speak up, please. And that Mike Levy read uh, something for the. For, for the record, my name is uh, Michael Luzzi, and I am the town attorney. <clears throat> As indicated in the notice and agenda for this, uh, the finance, uh, the, port, the Board of Finance meeting, there is no in-person public access and no public comment. A dial-in conference call number was provided for interested persons to listen only. For those listening, I would ask that you mute your phones if you are able to do so, so that we do not get any background noise. I have one very important reminder. Every time someone speaks, a member of the board speaks, uh, you must state your name and title for the record. We must be careful to speak, not to speak over one another so that members of the public who are listening can hear what is being said and so we can create a clear record. I'm now going to turn the meeting over to the chairman of the Board of Finance, Mayor Joe Carfora, who will ask the clerk for a roll call after reading the preamble uh, that is listed on the special meeting agenda. I would finally add for those participating via phone, and I don't believe there's any with the Board of Finance, uh, would indicate, so that, that's that's a, uh, you know, a moot point, so. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Town of East Haven, Board of Finance, March 19th, 2020 special meeting agenda. To the residents and taxpayers of the town of East Haven and other interested parties, due to Governor Ned Lamont's March 10th, 2020 declaration of a public health emergency and civil preparedness emergency and subsequently issued executive order in Mayor Joseph A. Carfor's March 16th, 2020 declaration of a state of emergency in the town of East Haven due to the spread of the curve coronavirus disease 2019 in the state of Connecticut, including New Haven County. In-person public access to this meeting will not be re uh, permitted. The public can listen to the meeting by calling the following telephone number from a, from a landline or cellular telephone. Area code 605-562-0400. Zero zero, and entering the following access code: seven six one two eight one seven. A video recording of the meeting will also be made available following the meeting through the Town of East Haven's website at www.townofeasthavenconnecticut.org. Please note that no public comment will be permitted. The Board of Finance will hold a special meeting on Thursday, March 19th, 2020, at 7 p.m. at the East Haven High School Library at 35 Wheelbarrow Lane. Roll call. Mayor Carpura? Here. Rich De Palma? Here. Noreen Club? Here. Beth Purcell? Here. Rich Esposito? Here. Al Kozuski? Here. Ralph Vitali is not here. And we have interim financial director Jim Keeley. Here. Emergency management director uh, Chief Marcarelli. Here. And attorney Michael Luzzi. Present. New business. Our new business. Consider and vote upon pursuant to section six emergency appropriations of chapter seven of, of the town of East Haven whether to recommend to the town council approve an emergency appropriation in total amount of which said per charter provision should not exceed 1% of the current tax levy in any one fiscal year. To mitigate the effects of the public health emergency proposed posed by the spread of carnivorous disease 2019 COVID-19. Chief Macro. Tim Keeley, uh, Interim Finance Director. Tim Keeley, Interim Finance Director. Um, so just for clarification, um, as far as the current tax levy, um, that's the tax imposed on the property's owners based on the value of the property and the municipal government needs. Um, basically what this is, is the tax assessment multiplied by the mill rate. 
Currently, our tax levy is $63,422,192, which would authorize $634,222 to be able for these emergency appropriations. Um, I would like to state that even though these are emergency appropriations, they will run through the regular procedures in the finance department, where they will go through purchasing and go through myself, where they will be reviewed um, and recorded and make sure the appropriations are as being necessary. Uh, good evening. Um, so I'm, I'm requesting from the Board of Finance. Uh, this is uh, Matthew Marcarelli, Fire Chief, Emergency Management Director. Uh, we've been preparing uh, over the past several weeks, actually uh, well ahead of many of the other communities around us. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to source equipment to be prepared for this event that is probably in our town already and could very easily overwhelm the emergency services. Uh, myself and the police chief have very serious concerns as uh, it concerns continuity of operations and we require emergency funds to be able to handle this emergency and prepare for it. Um, so we're seeking uh, an amount not to exceed $150,000 for our initial disbursement. Um, we're anticipating based upon information that we're receiving on a daily basis, uh, actually hour by hour, that we could very easily exceed that amount. Um, we are not receiving a great deal of assistance uh, from the state, and we haven't seen assistance yet from the federal government. Uh, so we're essentially trying to source equipment uh, to prepare for this event, to respond to calls, um, make adjustments to our daily operations, uh, curtail shifts, expand working hours, and many other things to make sure we're prepared to respond to what we believe is going to be a prolonged event. Uh, so that's the amount we're seeking now, and, and I, I do expect that we may go over that and be back here a few times. I would like to uh, just add and make an amendment to the attendance. We have Police Chief Ed Lennon present. Ed, would you? Chief Lennon. Yes. to this is Edward Lennon Police Chief. Um, in regards to our emergency response plans, um, where we uh, have a joint emergency response plan through Emergency Management Director, Fire Chief Mark Rally. Um, we're adjusting our responses and also dealing with all our um, purchasing and protective equipment. And I can't agree more with the Fire Chief in regards to the fact that we've not gotten a lot of state or national um, assistance when it comes to our needs for responding. Presidential Declaration of uh, uh, State and National Emergency under the Stafford Act, uh, we're eligible for 75% reimbursement on eligible items. Um, so we think that a large portion of what we uh, will be spending will be re reimbursable by the federal government. That will be slow in coming. This is going to be a large scale, long term event. So uh, we, we won't see the money for a long time. But we've already instructed all department heads to. Um, to make sure they keep accurate records. I provided them the federal paperwork to make sure that those records are maintained and kept uh, for any assets that are purchased or any overtime that's incurred. Uh, so yeah, we would be eligible for a seven, up to 75%. Thank you. Richard Apollo, Vice Chair, Board of Finance. This is to both our chiefs. Are all your units equipped with uh, the proper PPE? So I know it may not be enough in the future, but at this present time, you guys got a call. Are you all equipped? Uh, we um, we don't. We're predicting that we could see as many as 2,500 patients uh, in town. Um, so that would our normal census is about 6,000 calls a year. So that would be in addition to what we normally see. 
Um, we think that we, depending on the volume that we get, we may have enough supplies to last about two weeks to a month. Two weeks to a month? Yes, yes, same thing. Yes, same thing. As of today, yes, as it goes long term now. Just make, please make sure, for Mike Luzzi, town attorney, if we're going to speak, please identify who you are, even if it's the second time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Any other comments? Beth Purcell, Board of Finance. I just want to confirm we're, we're, we're requesting $150,000 right now. Yes. And where is this money coming from? Can you find that one? The question was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but Mike Luzzi, town attorney, the question from okay. Ms. Purcell was, where is the money coming from? So I think that should be addressed properly with the finance, the finance director. Jim Keeley, term finance director, right now the money would come from the contingency fund. We put a little bit over $400,000 in that fund, $150,000. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three o'clock, Board of Finance, uh, to our, our interim finance director. Would you speak from a specific line item? Um, Jim Keeley, interim finance director. Yes, we have set up a, a specific line item that we've given out to the department. It has not been used yet, um, but we did set it up so that once we get approval, they can start um, using the money, using the appropriations, and send the purchaser account so we can get the needed equipment. Any other dis discussion? Richard Apollo, Chief, uh, Vice Chair of Board of Finance. Any other discussion? <clears throat> All right. Can I have a roll call, please? Mayor Kafora. Yes. Rich DePalma. Yes. Noreen Club. Yes. Beth Purcell. Yes. Rich Esposito. Yes. Is there a motion on the floor? I don't know if you actually made the motion. I want to please, please right. make the motion. Let's rescind those votes. Send those votes. Uh, my name is Attorney Michael Luzzi. I'm the town attorney. I want to receive those votes. I want to actually get the motion on the table. Make a motion to appropriate $150,000 from the contingency account to our emergency. Uh... Second. I, I make the motion. I'd like to amend the motion and, and refer it to the town attorney. I'd like to amend Noreen Club Board of Finance. I'd like to amend the motion to make sure to move it to the Board of Finance. So the full motion is what Rich said, town attorney Michael Luzzi. Rich the identified the motion. Rich the Rich. Power, Vice Chair of Board of Finance to appropriate $150,000 from our contingency account to our emergency declaration pursuant to and refer and refer to the town council. This is a referral to the town council. Roll call. Mayor Kapura. Yes. yes. I, we I have the three o'clock second on the motion. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> roll call, please. Mayor Kapoor. Yes. Rich DePama. Yes. Noreen Club. Yes. Beth Purcell. Yes. Rich Esposito. Yes. Al, Al Przyski. Yes. And Joey. Motion carried. Motion carries. Any other uh, discussion for tonight? Noreen Club, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Who seconded? Richard DePama, Vice Chair Board of Finance. Roll call at 715, Mayor Kapora. Yes. Rich DePama. Yes. Noreen Club. Yes. Beth Purcell. Yes. Rich Esposito. Yes. Al Brzezinski. Yes. Okay. Adjourned. Guys, thank you.